Tommy here. Wow. Welcome to today's video. We almost ran into the Subaru. Pretty close. Anyway, today, feeling good, feeling strong, feeling healthy. We are headed to the shop right now. We are gonna get our asses busy on this hatch. We have got to, today, get stuff cut out of it. By the way, today I'm gonna start revealing some parts as well. Some parts are starting to come in the door now, which I'm super excited about. I got uh, my Sparco. Well, you'll see. I'll show you here in just a little bit. That little teaser right there, that little teaser. So, head to the shop right now. We're gonna get busy on this thing. And as soon as I get there, I'll pick the camera back up and show you guys what's going on. And, whoa, Kelly. All right, guys. Okay, like I was saying in the truck, before my phone rang, sorry about that. But, I wanna give a shout out to a dude named Mike Mac. okay? Dude's pretty cool, he's been hitting me up on my YouTube, been talking back and forth. I uh, figured I'd support a couple people, you know, they support me, I'll support them. So, Mike Mac, little shout out to you. Right down there will be your Instagram in the link. Also, I wanna give a shout out to a dude named Kryptonite, okay? Starts with two Ks in the front. Can't mess it up, except for I did, but whatever. And, give him a shout out as well. Man, he sent me a message. You know, something cool. I'm not, I'm not gonna go into detail or anything about it, but it was something cool, something that you know I really appreciated. So I figured I'd give him a shout out as well. So I will post his Instagram in the link as well. So that being said, I'm gonna show you guys some parts that have come in, and uh, yeah, here we go. So from what has come in first, the dang phone is ringing again. Christ. Okay. Phone's not ringing. So, back to what we were doing. Anyway, all right. So, I got the rear disc brake kit right here. I know people have been asking me and putting the link down below, but you can get the, uh, the basically the factory rear disc. I know it never came with rear disc, but this is basically an OEM replacement for the rear. And as you can see, it, oh, oh, it, it is the factory kind of factory OEM replacement for the rear discs. I mean, for the rear hub. And there's a plate that goes on and I'm still waiting on that to come in. There's a plate that just it bolts on and you can use. What I do personally is I use the front caliper and stick it in the rear. And then I ordered a big brake kit for the front. So besides buying another set of calipers, I just stick the front ones in the rear and use the new ones that come with the big brake kit. That's the easiest way I found to do it. So anyway, that being said, here's the rear disc. Here is the pads for that rear disc. Probably won't use the pads. I'll probably go something a little more upgraded. Here is the master, <clears throat> excuse me, the master, uh, there's a part number right there, the master bushing set for the entire car. This replaces every single bushing in the car. So, ooh, and it comes with well, we won't say what that is there, fellas, but you know what it is. You know what that is, uh-huh. Anyway, all right, put that down before things go awry. And I got our Sparco quick release hub going on for the steering wheel. I mean, y'all have all seen a quick release steering wheel hub, but you know, just in case you haven't. That's what she looks like down in there. Just a black and chrome, nothing fancy. That way we have it. Uh, this here, is a steering wheel adapter for the steering column. Yeah, it's eBay. Doesn't fit worth the P. So, and everyone's been asking about this painless wiring harness. Now how this works is you gotta find, they don't make a painless wiring harness for the 91 hatch. They just don't make it. So, cause it's not old enough. So what I do is I order one for a, a uh, key on dash grommet wiring harness like this. It's for like a Chevy Nova, or a Chevelle, or a 56 truck, something GM on a K. They're called a, I wanna say they're called K frames. See, like this right here. For I have a Nova like that right there. So I order them for these right here. There's the manual part number right there, if y'all can see it. And it comes with everything you can possibly need. It comes with the fuse box. Everything is labeled where you need it. They come with every grommet, and everything that you could possibly want to put this thing together. Extra fuses, more pins, so on and so forth. Comes with all your ground, I mean, all your fuse locks, all your, I mean, everything. All these are so you can pin them out however you want. 
comes with your, your positive for your battery, all your grounds, and then here's more. Here's some heat shrink, comes with heat shrink. Here's all your ground straps that it come with and everything else, all the zip ties, comes with electrical tape. And I don't know if y'all can notice or not, but on this harness right here, this will actually tell you like on the wire where it goes. Painless wiring harness, tail section, left turn, turn and brake on that yellow wire right there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but that's what's great about the painless harness is you can strip out everything out of the car. Every, the whole chassis harness can come out, everything. Just get rid of it. You don't need it. Then you get yourself an AEM standalone or a Honda standalone or a P28 with a Honda and standalone system in it. And then you wire, basically use the engine harness that you, whatever engine you're using, use that engine harness. And that painless harness comes with the power on it for a key and dash. So all you need to do is power that ECU, which will power obviously and tell the motor what to do. And then the painless harness does the rest of it for the car. You don't need, you can run just, you can run everything you want, AC, sunroofs, everything. You run everything you could possibly want on a painless harness, or you can just run the bare minimum. Like I do on my race cars, I run the bare minimum. Headlights, turn signals, brake lights, and basically that's it. That way it's super clean, super easy, and it's there there's nothing to it it comes with your fuse panel everything you can mount this wherever you want it's already wired up in the back so you can't i mean you basically can't mess it up it tells you where every single wire goes in the entire car like this green wire for example this green wire is tail section right turn and brake signal then pick another wire here's you a orange wire it is a ignition power to fuse box I mean, it tells you on the wire where to put the stuff. And so, I mean, unless you're like me and can't read, then it's pretty simple. So, I mean, even then they got a color code in the damn book. So, but that's what I use on all my cars whenever I strip them and turn them into race cars. Like this thing we're gonna go pick up in near Arizona this weekend. I've already ordered a painless wiring harness for it because I know it's so much easier to use a painless wiring harness than try to figure out. I mean, just imagine if you were trying to, if you picked up a car that looked like this, that just showed up like this, and they said, hey, which one is the turn signal in this, right? Like, try to find me the turn signal in that right there, or anything. Find me any wire that does anything without going online and looking it up. Try to do it. You can't. So I use the painless wiring harness and this painless wiring harness comes with every single freaking thing on the entire book that it could possibly need. It shows you how you can hook this up, how you can run the headlight switches, how they work on the dimmer. It shows you how if you have a coil, I mean, if, if you have a distributor, how to hook it up. If you have coil packs, how to hook it up. It shows you every single thing you could possibly want to know in this book. So, guys, make life a lot easier. Get a painless wiring harness. I think they're like, I think they're like 600 bucks, man, or or something like. Oh, that's natty natty. It's sticky. But that's what I do. So, back to car related stuff. I or not more. You know what I'm saying. We are gonna pull all the wiring out of this. All of this is gonna go away, all of it. Every bit of this wire is getting stripped out of this. And then, I am, like I said on the last video, I'm gonna be cutting all of these out, cutting these off, everything. Getting rid of everything. I'm cutting the doors. I'm cutting the door skins around. I've stripped everything off of the dash. We're gonna cut as much as possible off of that. Obviously, there's nothing to cut. So, and um, we're still taking votes on the dash part of it, so that'll be coming later. Uh, I'm even gonna cut some of these supports out that are dangling, dangling like this. Boing, boing. That's going away. A couple of them, maybe even all of them. Maybe, I don't know. Depends, they ain't doing shit anyway, so. But, here in the next couple days, I should have a whole lot more parts. And that's when things are gonna start getting really, really fancy because 
once the parts cart coming in, that's whenever I get excited. That's whenever, wow, it's sunny back there. That's whenever I get pumped and get things going because like right now, just tearing things apart, that's fun and all, but I like to see the outcome and I'm super impatient. Like when I want something, I want it right now. So I am going to start doing this, maybe put you on a time lapse or a heady thingy, you know, get you on there so you can see front view of what I, you know, I see, which isn't much, but you know, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to get started on this thing and, uh, you know, so come along with me. I don't know what we're gonna get into. Whatever it is, it's gonna be fun. Cause we're gonna do it together as a team. So, you know, let's go, let's do it. You know, I don't know either. All right, boys and girls, back glasses out. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, just a little backstory. I used to be an auto glass guy for a really long time, so I know how to take glass in and out of a car, in and out, in and out, in and out, like really fast. So anyway, got this all out. I kind of bent this a little bit right here, a little bit, but hey, weight reduction, weight reduction. You know what I mean? We don't need it. We don't want it. It's broke anyway, guys. Don't. So, pretty much all the glass that's gonna come out of this thing is out of it, which is fancy. So, next step, I gotta clean up all this old urethane right here, get it all primed up so there's no scratches on it or anything like that. So, we're good. Okay, next step. We are going to get this guy, this old harness out of there. And like I said, guys, you do not need that anymore. So, plus it's an old harness. They make up-to-date ones, like better ones now. Way better ones that you can get for this car. But you do want to keep the grommet. Make sure you keep that old grommet though. Look at that. Weight reduction. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Boom. Gone. Gone out the way. Now people are going to be like, well, what are you going to do with your sensors and all that? Huh? This guy. Right here. Got it all. Got every bit of it. Ow. Thing just poked me in the old thingy. All right, now since that's gone and out of the way, we tuck it in there. Uh, pretty much everything's ready to go. I'm gonna cut this little dingly, 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 dingly thing off there later, because that's not important right now. So we've got it pretty much ready to go. All the glasses out. Now I'm trying to find where the heck this thing that there was a there was a thing on there, a thing, but it's gone. The thing is gone. The little rubber thing is gone. I need that back. If anybody's got one of them, DM me and let me know because I need that thing. Like on this side, the rubber seal. I need that on there. That right there, I need that. So, all right. Last thing to do tonight, get this guy off. So, the way I know how to do it. But don't go all the way through now because you don't want to ruin your shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just want to get them started, get them going. So 
<laughs> Something like that. You know what I'm saying? No. Ow! Holy crap, there's a bunch of them. All right, I'm going to get them out. You please hold. Bam! Bam! Ain't no turning back now, boys. It is K-Series go time, go time, go time. I don't know what happened, but I got a ton of energy now. I ain't even going to wear my sunglasses because, you know. But, man. So, we got the back glass out of this thing. Got all the glass out of this thing. Got most of the stuff out. Look, here comes Charlie. He's like a creature in the night. I'm trying all the weapons. He's trying to find weapons, guys. Trying to find weapons. Like good weapons. Yeah, good weapons. So, like I said, got the engine mount off. That sucked, by the way, because, you know, I just don't have a lot of tools here yet. Like I told you in the previous video that I'm trying to get most of my tools from the house. Uh, brought up here from my house. I have all my tools here. So it's a whole backstory about why I have this shop and what made me go through to do all this and everything else. That'll come later on. You'll, you, I'll tell you. So tomorrow, we're going to start getting all that tore out right there. We're going to start tearing all this down. Everything. We're going to get it all tore out and tore down. Get it ready to go to powder cutting because that stuff's got to go to powder coating. I've been saying that for about four days. But every time I get ready to go to powder coating, something comes up where I got to do something else. So tomorrow, for sure, powder coating. That's got to go. Now, I'm going to bring you guys along with me, and I want you to try... The damn lens is dirty again. I'm going to bring you guys along with me, and I want you all to... Uh, I'm, not, I'm just going to drop it off, get a couple gold samples. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to tell me which color of gold you want to see on it. Also, tomorrow I'm going to get the paint, so I'll do a couple paint swatches on that. And we'll hold them up together and we'll see where we can go with that. I want you guys to be part of this project, to be part of the build, and, and tell me your opinion and give me your opinion on things. That way, at the end of this build, it's all of us. It's all of us. We all built this thing. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't care what color it is. I don't care what, what the, the gold is and all that other stuff. It's what you guys like. So, because without you guys, YouTube is nothing. Nothing at all, which means I'm nothing at all, which means all these YouTubers are nothing at all without you guys subscribing. And I know that. So I want you guys to tell me what color of green you want to see on this, what color gold you want to see on it, like the dash, half dash, full dash, no dash. Now everybody's leaning towards cut the dash, see what it looks like. If you don't like it, just ditch it. So I've got other people saying don't ruin the dash. But guys, listen, the dash... Just so everyone knows and everyone can get an update on things, this dash has been, now there's a whole nother piece that goes down here. It's completely broke off. So that's broke. This whole, see how brittle that is? That's broke. I barely even pushed on that. So that's all broke. And I mean, it's, it's just brittle and old. So, which I mean, it would be, it's 1991. So because it's old and brittle, I probably will have to ditch it. I am going to go ahead and probably cut it in half just to see what it looks like because I've had a couple people hit me up and be like, man, just cut it in half, plate it. If you don't like it, ditch it. So I think I'm going to try to do that. So I didn't even realize that most of it was missing. So, you know, we got to figure that out. But anyway, tomorrow, like I said, powder coating, you've got to get that done. Pick the colors. I want you guys to help me with that. And I'm also going to try to get this out because my forge kit came in for it. And I really want to get this out, get it to the machine shop so I can get both of them back at the same time. So, that being said, like I say every night, what's going on? Because I'm sleepy and really tired. Sleepy tired. Tired sleepy. And, whew, it's a hot one today, boys. I just think, like a lot. Think bad. So, hope you guys enjoy the content. I hope you guys really like what's happening on this channel. If you do, leave it in the comments below. And like I told you before, I really try to get back to every single one of them. I don't care if I have one subscriber or a million subscribers, I will try to get to every single one. And that's my word. So please, please leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on. People have been hitting me up. Let me know what kind of builds they got. I love that type of stuff. Like I said on the last video. So if you wouldn't mind, Please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and hit the like button. Because, you know, that's what makes things happen on here. So, you boys have a good night. You ladies have a good night. And we'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace. Oh, by the way, Debbie Garage's Khaki Civic ass is going down.
Damn! I tell you, damn! Okay, now bye.